The T cell receptor is a complex of antigen-specific alpha and beta chains associated in the membrane with the CD3 gamma, delta, epsilon, and zeta chains. Each of the CD3 chains has at least one copy of a signaling motif, the immunoreceptor tyrosine-based activation motif, or ITAM, in its cytoplasmic domain. Various SARC family tyrosine kinases associate with the cytoplasmic domains of the T cell receptor complex. Thin is the most important for T cell activation. Other molecules involved in T cell activation include CD45, whose cytoplasmic domain contains a tyrosine phosphatase enzyme, and the T cell co-receptor, either CD4 or CD8. In this example, the co-receptor is CD4. The co-receptor molecules have bound to their cytoplasmic domains the tyrosine kinase LCK. The cytosolic enzyme ZAP70 also plays an essential role in T cell activation. As this is a CD4 T cell, its antigen receptor recognizes an MHC class II molecule together with its bound peptide. When the T cell receptor binds its specific MHC peptide complex, a number of events take place within the cell. First, intracellular SARC family tyrosine kinase enzymes, such as FIN, are activated by CD45, which removes inhibitory phosphate groups from the enzymes. The activated FIN kinase then phosphorylates the ITAMs of the T cell receptor CD3 components. The phosphorylated ITAMs are binding sites for a second kinase, ZAP70, which can now bind to the phosphorylated zeta chain. The co-receptor, in this example CD4, is also able to bind to the same MHC peptide complex as the T cell antigen receptor. This binding brings the co-receptor-associated tyrosine kinase LCK into close proximity to ZAP70, and as a result, LCK phosphorylates and thus activates ZAP70. The activated ZAP70 can now bind to and activate a number of intracellular signaling adapter proteins, for example, LAT, which in turn are able to activate other signaling pathways within the cell.